Hi guys, my name is Tomcat and welcome to a brand new mod spotlight in Spin Tires Mud Runner. Now, this is Spun's new Kaiser M715. It's a really, really cool truck, but I also want to let you guys know that I've fixed my audio finally. And as you can hear, the vehicles in the game actually have some sound to them in the video. So that's a nice improvement. Now, there are two different versions. I'm going to stop the engine real quick. There are two different versions of this truck. Well, not necessarily versions, but two different designs that you get. You get this U.S. Forest Service one, and then you get the Spun Lumber Company one. I'm going to be using the U.S. Forest Service uh, design for most of this video, but I really do like both designs. And I also like the fact that this thing has a beefy lift on it. I mean, beefy lift, beefy tires. It's a really good-looking truck. So there's a lot of different... Um, attachments and trailers that you can put on this thing i'm just kind of kind of going through them right now uh you can do spun's log bed or spun's utility bed which the utility bed carries basically let's see carries 100 liters of fuel thousand repair points and four garage points so you can unlock a garage like this you also have a chainsaw in the back there which is actually really really cool and not only that but you can pull all of these other trailers with it as well so if you wanted to do I don't know if you wanted to have the utility trailer but you also wanted it to have like maybe more fuel or more repair points like on that trailer for example you could do it if you wanted to have just fuel you could do that if you wanted one of these garage trailers you could do that I mean you there's so many different things you can do that your your options are kind of endless when it comes to when it comes to what you want to use this truck for now, interior view-wise, it's pretty good. I mean, it's a sparse interior, but at the same time, that's what you would expect from something like this. I mean, that's what you should expect from a rig like this. If you expect a rig like this to have any sort of sophisticated interior, you need to look elsewhere. Uh, trust me, you need to look for vehicles elsewhere because you will not find refinement or luxury uh, in this rig here. Now, this version of Volcano is actually a little bit different than than uh, some of the other versions. This one has a few other paths and a few uh, few changes to the scenery. It's not that big of a difference. It's not that big of a change, but it's still just a little bit a uh, little bit different. Now, performance-wise, this thing like once you put it in high, it is actually really fast. It's faster than wow. That's my first time putting it in high, and I gotta admit that's faster than I expected it to be. Thing pulls. It moves. Wow. I mean, I would feel confident throwing a, a big lumber trailer behind this thing because that's fast and it's faster not only faster than what I thought it was going to be but it's fast enough that I don't know if I would run high all the time like with a trailer behind me I mean we almost went off the road back there so if high range in a, in a truck actually starts to make you a little bit like concerned about whether or not your trailer is going to stay attached then that's definitely a fast enough high range gear so, moving along, it's got really good grip. Uh, mud doesn't really seem to trip it up all too much. The only time that it seems to get even remotely tripped up is when you, like, is when you keep your foot on the throttle, you know, in super deep mud, but that's almost to be expected. Now, looking on the map real quick, I think I'm going to follow... Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I went the wrong way. Yeah, I... I, I... I very much went the wrong way, but you know what? Actually, that gives us an opportunity to see what this thing is like when you do make a wrong turn and have to put it in, like, low two and crawl back up to a road surface. So that's a little spinny. Only reason why it was spinning back there, I, I think, is probably because it was propped up by the trailer. I feel like the only reason why this thing would get stuck like that is because the trailer would be jabbing against the back of the truck, but... Situations like that are easy enough to get out of if you have, you know, if you have any sort of decent reach on your winch. Now, I am using Mudrunner mods, so my winch distance is maxed out right now, so it's a little bit more... Uh, it won't be exactly the same as your stock winch distance, but uh, this is a good test of high range. So it'll still move, but it definitely sinks really quick and really bad. I mean, like, really profoundly sinks. So... Once you put it in low two, though, I mean, well, I was, I, was, I was about to put it in low three to see, but yeah, low three is not where it needs to be. No, low three is not where it needs to be. It's going to spin like crazy. So low two is going to be your, your highest speed while still remaining effective and not just spinning all of your power away. Uh, but eh, we can stick with it. 
And keep in mind, too, we have that trailer behind us. You know what I should probably do? Refill everything. It's definitely a great looking truck, too. Like, when you see it go through the, you know, go through the mud, go through the wilderness, it looks like a truck that you would have actually seen out in the middle of nowhere. It looks rugged. It looks well built. It looks like, it looks, you know, very, like, resilient against the elements. I mean, there's not a lot to break on a truck like this. You have a, you know, well, this one, sound file wise, anyway, it sounds like it has a Cummins, but let me see. I don't know if they even, well, it's modeled to. The, there's a V8 in there. Yeah, there's a what looks like a V8 in there. Which these things would have probably come with like a like an AMC 360. Maybe a 360 or maybe a 304. Although I feel like a 304 probably would have a really, really bad time pulling this thing around. I would feel bad for an AMC 304 in this thing. I would feel really bad for it. I mean, my buddy Austin's Jeep, who has actually, well, that's my old CJ5. That had a AMC 304 in it, and I mean, it felt like it was enough to move the little CJ5 when it was stock, but now, I mean, that thing's got 33s on it, it's lifted a lot, so the, th the, the 304, I, did I say 360 before? I meant 304. The 304 definitely feels like it, uh, it struggles a little bit. Now, the 360, the 360 is a little bit different, I mean, that same dude that has my old CJ has like an AMC Javelin and a, and a J10 and stuff like that. So those both have 360s and it's weird because the 360 in his J10 is kind of a... I don't want to say it's a dog, but it's it's definitely not powerful. Whereas the 360 in his Javelin, I mean, the 360 in, in his Javelin has been rebuilt. It's got a different cam. It's got a slightly different internal setup. So it definitely makes a little bit more a little bit more go, but wow, that trailer almost tipped over. That was really close to being, like, really bad. That was really close to being really awful. We can sort of use low three again. I want to see if I can get a little bit closer to that edge. Easy. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm trying to stay away from the main area, but, like, the main, like, muddy area, but sometimes it's a little hard to do with a truck this wide. So let's see. Yeah, the garage. Oh, you know what? You know what? I just remembered where the garage was and and how far out you had to go to get to it. Yeah, I, real, I, I didn't realize when I set out, like, when I set out to do this that, ooh, that's a big oof. That's a big, big oof. We just crashed our... Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Um... Help! <laughs> that is bad. Okay, that is really bad. I wonder if... Let's see. Ooh! Oh, that's... Oh, God! That weighs it down really bad. That doesn't weigh it down as much. Well... Sort of does, and it doesn't sit right. Yeah, it doesn't really sit right if you do that. Now, the log bed is really cool because that, in fact, yes, I do want to see what this thing looks like with lumber in the back because that's one of the main draws of this thing is actually having, you know, actually having lumber in it and actually using it to haul logs. So let's take this thing over here, over there, as a logging vehicle this time instead of a support vehicle. And see what it actually looks like with some lumber in the back. It definitely feels more lively without the trailer behind it. I mean, it really goes. It properly gets up. I'm going to say leave it in fifth. I'm going to leave it in fifth and not worry about it. Oh, or put it back in high. Yeah, putting it back in high seems like a better idea. Seems like a better deal. I wonder if st staying out there on the beach would help. It probably wouldn't because I think at a certain point that beach turns to, well, not necessarily turns to mud, but turns to, like, sand that reacts the same way that mud would. So let's stay way off to the edge. Way, way off to the edge. Try to avoid the main muddy area. And just kind of, you know, try to keep a little bit of a, uh, ooh, ooh. All right, up along the edge, up along the edge, up along the edge. There we go. I mean, not bad. So you, I mean, that's sort of how you would avoid mud. 
Not necessarily realistically, but I, it, it, it works, kind of. Oh god, here's my attempt at a shortcut. Will that attempt work? Tune in next time. No, I mean, but for real though, let's see if it'll actually work. And so far it worked, wow, worked great. God, that's like 10 times faster than taking the actual route, but... I mean, I get it. Going through the mud is what the game is about, so I made sure to do it at least once. But the second time, I was like, yeah, I kind of want to just get there. You know what I mean? I'd much rather just get there. All right. Time to load this thing up with lumber. I'm imagining short... Whoa, okay. That is a lot of weight. Like, that is genuinely a lot of weight. I mean, you can see how it's weighing down the back end of the truck. It really... Holy crap! That... That is a lot of weight in the back of this thing. But you know what? It actually pulls it really well, and it holds up to it nicely. So, I could definitely see using this thing as a, like, a proper logging vehicle. Like, I can see using this thing as part of a playthrough of a map, if that says anything. It's a really high-quality rig. It's definitely worth a spot in your garage. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave me a like. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you want to check this thing out, it's on the Steam Workshop. So go, uh, go show it some love. So again, hope you all uh, enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.